Hey guys, so today I want to talk about uh, the channel and just a real talk uh, conversation with you guys uh, mainly because uh, I don't know if you guys know this but I have stunted my channel's growth for a while uh, that could be anything from I, I know what type of videos you guys like to watch it's not lost upon me that you want me to make like a top 10 MTG Finance every week which I could make but um, yeah you want longer videos it's not lost on on me like what type of videos you like and you might just be like oh why don't you do those type of videos uh, mainly because I didn't want to grow as a channel it wasn't my belief that like I would I should be a big channel um, or behave like a big channel and some of the things that like for instance this playmat there's only one other person who has this playmat and it's Bobby because he had a really bad box so I was like, hey, you can have a playmat. And it was like really hard for me to give that playmat away. So unlike other channels, like which, you know, they will print like limited edition runs or play multiple playmats and they will, I just didn't really want to do it. Um, I only did it because like I felt like it was fun to like work with an artist and Emma and you get a playmat like this. And you can see the playmat is, there's no MTG lion anywhere in a playmat because I didn't want it to do that. Obviously I could put a little lion, which I have logo, but I was like, why would I want to like, um, from my perspective, and this might be different from most people, if I'm going to f and M, I just want a playmat that looks pretty cool and that's it. I don't want to like advertise or things of that nature. And again, that's just my perspective. That's my personal feelings about it. And I didn't have ads on this channel for a very long time. In my other channel, which was in the same growth rate, much bigger than this channel, I never had a single ad, it didn't have ad revenues. And I didn't want to grow this channel because I felt like in my real life, I have a lot, a lot of friends, like lots of friends. I'm not saying this to like, say I'm, you know, to hype myself up. I'm saying it because you don't actually need that many friends in real life. So my Twitter, my real Twitter and gutterless it has 10,000 people. I think my LinkedIn has 7,000. Uh, connections or whatever they're called. My Facebook has been maxed out at 5,000 for at least a month and a half. Um, and my cell phone, just like if I don't put it on silent, like that best button is that little moon button, which that means like people don't annoy me. But if I don't, if I leave my phone away for one day, let's say Saturday, I know I'll have over a hundred plus texts and missed calls and voice, my voice message will be full even if I empty it out. And that's interesting but that's not what I really want. I wanted a small group of friends because in high school when I wasn't popular I had a very small group of friends and they were real friends but then I went to college and you know I college in New York City and just everyone wanted to be your, my friend because I was a teaching assistant and I was a orientation leader and I just you know I could walk into like any of the dining halls and then I one of my orientees or somebody I know would be would swipe me in for a meal and something. I never had to worry about any of that stuff. And there was like so many, like if you look at my Facebook, I don't know how much of that's public, but you can kind of see it. I had a good time in college and I really good time in grad school. I was the head of my fraternity, uh, which was great and uh, amazing. Um, I, I, again, NYU didn't have a fraternity. So the grad school I went to, I didn't really understand what it was. And it was just a fun concept in my opinion. But I have strived to keep this channel as small as possible. Uh, but right now, like, I feel like the patrons, like, and it's not that I value patrons differently. It's that they're a smaller group, right? And as long as I have that small group uh, of people who, you know, support the channel, I, it's not the, the money. I mean, obviously, if you watch Patreon videos, like, the way we do it is I tell Bobby how much I buy for it, or I tell... Dan how much I'm going to buy the box for and then he makes up a difference and we just work it out, right? It's not like uh, we make significant m amounts of money. Um, our prizes are like a modern master box or a vintage thing where I mailed <laughs> four cards that were 70 plus dollars that I didn't even know about. Um, it's not to make money, it's just to have a small group of people to talk to um, and who posts on your videos and you can respond back to them and you know who they are, they know who you are and I think that's pretty awesome and 
yeah, that's what I was looking for this whole time. I wasn't looking for a big channel. I wasn't looking for like, because I have that like, and obviously you don't know this about me, but I'm very social. Like I'm extremely social and I, uh, I wouldn't call myself a socialite because that sounds like something like ridiculous to call yourself. But people invite me to pretty much, like if you go on my Facebook, I'll, maybe I'll show you my Facebook one day. Um, it's, it's just like the cool, like every event in like where I am, like in Houston, like I have an invitation to you or an invite or it's just very, um, it's overwhelming. And I felt like this channel was very overwhelming to me uh, when I first started it. And uh, the fact that we're at 20,000 right now or get, getting to 20,000 is, um, it's kind of scary uh, to be honest, because I don't know, <laughs> like, you know, it's not like, it's like the fact that I have 5,000 Facebook friends. I don't know any of those people. I know like maybe 150 of those people. I don't talk to most of them. I mean, and then I get text messages from like, hey, I'm your friend from college. And like, well, who? <laughs> it's like, well, I'm your friend from grad school. It is, uh, it's a mess, right? It really is a mess when you have um, so many. I love Instagram though, so follow me on Instagram, please. And I'll actually, my next video will be my contest to get to 30,000. I've uh, made a goal for myself. I want to get there. Um, and it would mean a lot to me because I'm, you know, I'm going to actually try. Now it's one thing if I didn't try, if I tried and didn't get there, then I would be perfectly fine with it. But I have not um, particularly tried to grow my channel. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll get finance videos, maybe we'll get more gameplays. I know what type of videos you guys like to watch. It's not lost upon me that, like, you like my finance videos. And you actually want me to talk about what cards you should go out and buy and trade. Uh, and that's probably some of my most popular videos and uh, spoil videos and things of that nature. But yeah, um, this playmat, <laughs> I love it. Like, it's, I only have two more copies of it. I ordered three copies of it. And I gave one to Bobby, and no one else has a playmat except for me and me. Um, my next playmat will be really good, though. Uh, my next playmat, hopefully, fingers crossed, Emma can do it fast, is Azula, Princess Azula. So the original Fire Princess. Uh, love her to death. Anyway, bye guys.